and a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Rotherham United and they face Sunderland. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. a Rotherham United starting lineup. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing backs will push further forward to make it a 3 5 2. And the starting 11 for Sunderland. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the match is underway. Diallo. Ross Stewart. On the ball, Pritchard. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? defender put in the challenge and it might be a red card and it was always going to be crystal clear for the referee in terms of the decision well he had to make a tackle didn't he unfortunately it wasn't a good one Well, that didn't go exactly to plan, and no wonder he's getting a few icy stares from his teammates. Yeah, that's a complete waste. He was never going to score from there. Well, attacking possibilities. It's opening up for them. Can he give them the lead? Oh, that was a chance to give them an early advantage. Well, they should be off to a flyer here, and that was a poor effort. He must hit the target. Error by the keeper. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer, and you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here it is again, and you have to say he looks so uncomfortable with the ball at his feet. He's cost his team a goal here.
So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Jack Clark on the ball, Pritchard. And over the touchline for what will be a Sunderland throw in. How about the cross? Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. And the flag does go up, must have been tight. Jack Clark. Ross Stewart. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Washington. And a body in the way. Now he must favour the cross. Well, it looked promising, but the keeper taking command of the situation. And a tidy challenge. Getting the better of his opponent. Opportunity. Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. Ross Stewart. Can they hit on the break? A fine reading of the situation. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Cohen Bramall. Surely! And it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Northern United goal. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Washington. And I think it's fair to say he's had happier days in front of goal, Stuart. Yeah, you're right. He needs to impose himself on this game. He just hasn't done enough to get away from his marker so far. Unless that changes, they're going to struggle to turn this one around. And the contest begins. And it was always going to be crystal clear. So back underway here into the second half. They've lost it. Corey Evans. Stewart. Ogbeni. Oh, far from the ideal pass. Alex Pritchard.
Ross Stewart. Richard. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Well, no stopping him. And it's a quality pass. Not the best clearance. Rathbone. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Well, very effective play in possession. Richard giving the ball to the opposition that time. Onayan. It's with Gooch. Alex Pritchard. A quarter of an hour remaining here. And slipped through beautifully. And that's a corner. The well, play was allowed to carry on, but now that it's come to a halt, a caution. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up and now both will rely on their respective benches. And he's fired over the corner. Taking care of business defensively here. Richard. Ogbeni. Wesley Harding. That's not a bad ball. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. A lopsided contest. 4-0. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. And I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Well, I thought he was excellent. Not only did he score a good goal, but his general play was outstanding. He certainly played a major part in their win here today.
And this confrontation is underway.